on to the first one off the island. I saw a fish sitting up high. I'll throw a crab out to it. I think it's very big. So it should be a friend. Here we are at Nelson, just fishing the monument and the island, and uh, threw a crab out. Got this little guy, first or second cast. It's not very big, but it'll be just legal. And uh, yeah, about quarter past seven on prefish day. Nice. There's number two on the pink grub. Just ran it past this little snag there and ran it across the top, paused it, saw the plastic disappear and struck and good hook up. Nice little fish. Good stuff. Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode down here on the stunning picturesque Glenelg River uh, for the Brimmaster SA and Hobie Associated Round. Just out pre-fishing this morning, got two little ones so far, making my way up, upstream, just trying to figure out where these fish are sitting. It's quite a bit of current flow actually, more than more than I expected, but uh, hopefully that helps a bite And once I kind of figure out where these fish are and what they want to eat. But uh, yeah, we'll roll some of the early morning footage from this morning, got one on a crab and one on a pink grub, which was cool. Uh, I've missed pink grubbing, so that was a lot of fun, and then... Uh, yeah, we'll keep making our way up. Got a whole bunch of rods, crabs, surfers, plastics, hards. Uh, we're going to try it all today. So yeah, all right, let's keep going, guys. quick update as I head upstream been pretty tough to be honest with you guys as you probably saw from the footage uh, I've got three I had two that I landed and then a third I was gonna pull him in um, on the crabby and we hooked him near the eye in their face so I just went to lift him in I would have used the net otherwise so let's say three fish but 
I'm in the ski zone just coming up to the end of it now and uh, the fish are really flighty so every time I put in a pink grub or a you know camo crabby really lightly weighted fish just spook so maybe as that sun comes up a little bit higher and we get a little bit of wind perhaps that's what's going to help trigger that bite and make them not so scared and flighty the moon's been pretty big the last couple of nights so they could be feeding hard at night time still but yeah we'll see keep heading upstream keep filming for you guys and hopefully we'll put together a bit of a pattern front got like a little uh, channel where it uh, all comes together not bad very silver fish All right, guys, that's the end of pre-fish day. I actually just filmed this little outro, but I caught myself waffling way too much. Uh, down here in the estuary, didn't really find bulk fish, and when I did, I just couldn't get them to eat. So I think my plan's gonna be quite simple. Stick to what I know, stick to what I enjoy doing, and that's gonna be structure. So I'm gonna have a light crab, a heavy crab, and a muss on, um, and a couple of light plastic rods if I see fish tailing or um, feeding on the edges. See if I can throw a little lightly weighted or unweighted plastic over to them. But uh, hopefully can do the mo majority of my damage off jetties and pontoons on crabs and mussels. So yeah, see you guys bright and early tomorrow for day one. Welcome to day one, ladies and gents. It's a bit of a mid-morning kind of lunchtime update. We'll roll the footage from this morning, but uh, I've got one fish in the live well and had three, bu uh, three bust-offs and pulled the hooks on another good fish. So 
really tough morning for me this morning. I had the right plan, had the right idea, right spots, but execution, bit of luck, or bad luck rather, because yesterday, as you guys saw, I got that really nice fish out um, on six pound, and today I've lost two crabs on eight pound on brawlers. Just couldn't turn their heads, and everything's just really sharp at the moment. This is because it's been so salty for a while. Excuse me. So lots of that barnacle growth. And uh, yeah, I'm heading back down. Gonna try the bridge again, try those shacks, um, try some of the jetties pontoons and uh, see if I can get two more bites. All right, let's go get them. rigged up and ready for day two so I've got a couple of cranker crabs oh, get out of that sun I've got a little stick minnow pink grub and a spare rod so uh, yeah day one really struggled um, ended up landing two fish and weighed two for about 1.3 and I think that's got me sitting in 10th or maybe ninth place out of about 55 competitors so just shows how tough it was, even though I didn't get my full limit and still sitting around that top 10. So if some of those fish that I had on today stick tomorrow, if I can get three good ones in the boat, that's really going to help make a charge for that uh, top five position. So hopefully with some of these adjustments that I've made um, and the fish chew, then uh, we'll get some better fish in the boat tomorrow. But uh, that's it for day one. We'll see you guys on the morning, in the morning on day two. Cheers.